Well, after the last topic, I really didn't want to do a video for a while. And then I read this in one of the... Some, no, somebody mailed me this question. Nah. Well, it's in the title. The guy mailed me this question, so I'm doing the video. Now, you're a single dude, and you see a lot of ugly women end up pregnant. Well, the moral of the story is this. No matter how handsome or how cool or how brilliant a man may think he is, how tight your stuff may be and how, you know, all you got and all that, the average guy really ain't tripping. You know, a lot of people want to say, you know, this girl is ugly, ain't nobody going to mess with her and all these dudes be sniffing around her. Well, if she all ugly and tore up like that, then why is somebody sniffing around her? Why is that big ass, fat, nasty looking girl got these dudes sniffing around her? See, the perception of all this and that is just perception. Most guys would like to flash and pretend like they're only messing with these top notch women. I tell you the truth. But it's not the truth. I mean, it's not really like that. You might be a cool looking dude and thank you all that. And tell your boys you ain't never mess with a, a girl with a toe up grill or messed up feet or big ass hands or stomach. But when you cold and lonely or, or, or when somebody giving you that feeling and you want to get your groove on, that stuff happens. So when you in your neighborhood and you see all these ugly jacked up monkey face girls, you know, ugly shot to the curve women with babies. It's because some man found her attractive enough to lay down with her. Something about that woman looked good enough for somebody who want to be intimate with her. So the the it's just a fictional it's 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 not real. In other words, people lie. You know, I've had beautiful looking women, I've had ugly women. I've had real ugly women. But, you know, it's the person, not the face not the body and a lot of people like to tell you you know only mess with the top notch man you only see them with the top notch when it's time for that fool to settle down you can be like damn what the hell is that man uh, who, where your woman at this is her sister huh Ooh, dog, she ugly Woo! oh man that's my woman you better understand not everything in a beautiful box is beautiful some of the best cars, some of the best looking cars are the worst cars on the street. You might see the tightest house outside, but walk inside and it's all toe up inside. See, you may look at something and it look broke down and dilapidated, and hey, that's perfect for you. My father once told me, he said, you're walking down the street. Because I was complaining like, they all making fun of this girl, man. It's the He said, listen here, son. You get off work, and you're walking down the street. You come across a tree at 5 o'clock. A big gorilla jump out the tree. <laughs> Beating on his chest. <laughs> Gives you $5 and kisses you on your forehead. Then pat you on your back and send you on your way. Yeah. Next day, Five o'clock, you're walking by the same tree. Gorilla jumps out, <laughs> beat on the chest, kiss you on the forehead, pat you on your back, send you on your way. This goes on month. Do you tell your friends? I tell my pops, I'm like, do I tell my friends? No. And he said, why? Why don't you tell your friends about the gorilla coming down out the tree? I said, man, could that be embarrassing? He said, no. I wouldn't tell my friends about the gorilla coming out the tree because every day at 5 o'clock I get $5. A kiss on the forehead and a pat on the back. See, the game is thick. You might think about these ugly women, but these ugly women got something that these regular cats want. Might be a place to stay. Might be a... Uh, some change might be that she's nice and remind 
uh, him or her mama, well, not like that, you know, but you know what I mean, might be a good woman inside that box. So, they get jacked up and pregnant, some of, some women. And now, this is, this is a myth, I believe this is a myth, because not all the women I've experienced in my life are like this, the dog is messing with some women now when I was growing up if you want to you know hook up uh, or try to get with somebody the thing is you'd get with the big ones see a heavy set one you get with one of them most likely not too many people would mess with them and then that way you could you could learn and have a relationship because a big woman always wants somebody always you know Whatever, I don't know. That's a myth. And then the rumors used to be that the big girls are quick to give it up because don't nobody want them. So it's all kind of things that you, the ugly girl or the pretty girl, always got four or five ugly friends. And then, uh, what's that? But see, the ugly friends and the pretty girl. Now the pretty girl going to have a bunch of people sniffing around it. And see, and the ugly girls get to pick up all the, the broke off guys who don't get none. I mean, it's a whole bunch of different myths and, and fables that you can apply to women and men. But when it comes to you seeing a bunch of ugly women that are pregnant in your neighborhood, there's one part of the women ain't ugly. And, you know, the bottom line is this, man. There is somebody for everybody. That's why you see these girls on TV talking about, you know, this is my baby daddy. And they be looking jacked up sometime. And dude be like, uh uh, man, you think I would mess with her? Man, she's just a toss up. You are the father. You know. When it comes to the case of five month old, extremely unknown, Mark Johansson, you are the father. You know, and shit, shit like that happened. You know, dude walk up and had the big old chain on and he had the old school gazelles on like he he's some way back pimp to my man. I would just mess with her because, you know, look at her, man. Why why would somebody want that, man? I get dimes and above, baby, 15 cents a more. You feel me? <laughs> when it comes to the case of <laughs> Luther Grenadine Jr., Luther Grenadine, you are the father. And then it just be those ugly ones that are hoes and then the young dude he's like you know this is my kid I'll take care of it you know cause I really like you know Slutitia and then uh you know the guy says uh skinny Bob you are not the father you know and Bob's sitting there crying and shit and the girl come back on the show nine other times and you know I think I just you know morph the baby you know whatever I don't know but um hey if you're seeing a bunch of ugly girls getting pregnant in your neighborhood, either the ugly guys are getting lucky or some of your boys got a place to live. I don't know. I don't know. So listen, anything can happen in any given situation. You know, like I said, everybody got to have somebody. I'm not the best looking man in the world and I got somebody. You might not be the best looking man in the world, but I bet you you probably get somebody. Yeah, if he is the best looking man in the world, just remember this. Pretty boys are like pretty girls. A lot of pretty and nothing else to it. When you know people are, are, are on you because the way you look and you know you look good, remember this. I used to look good too. And, re and when reality sets in, well, you just look like what you look like when you're finished. That's all I can say, man. And good luck. Maybe you'll find you a good woman. And let me tell you something. Just because she don't look like all your boys want to steal her, just best believe somebody will want it. Somebody will try to take it. And ain't no woman ugly. Remember that. Ain't no woman ugly. They get older, but ain't no woman ugly. Because if anybody can find beauty in you or me, then somebody will find beauty in them. And like I said, everybody gets lucky. Hopefully, it's all good. You've been too.